It's 30 trivia questions on 2019 year in review. Happy New Year. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast, the last episode of 2019 and the last episode of the decade. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thank you so much for checking out the show. I am so glad you are a part of this pop culture machine. And today's episode is all about pop culture and things that happened this year in the world of entertainment and uh, news and culture and all kinds of cool things. So get ready for that. We got 30 questions for you, so it's a nice jam-packed episode. Fun one to sit around a fireplace and listen to with your friends, your family, your coworkers while you're sipping champagne and waiting for that ball to drop. Before we get to the meat of the episode, I have a little trivia for you before the trivia. That's right. This is my newsletter that I send out once a month, and in this case, this covers November and December, and I sent this to all the patrons who are at the $3 or more level as a printed Uh, newsletter. And if you are at the $1 level, you get a digital version of this that I upload to my website and give you the link for. So if you want to be in on games like this every single month, just go subscribe over on Patreon at patreon.com slash trivia with buds. In 2020, I'm going to be sending out more puzzles, more word grid games, more stuff for you to do with your rewards every single month. But here we go. Here are the three games at the top of this November-December issue to close out the year of the Buds Times. That's what I call the newsletter. And it was also what I called my first website in high school, which had rumors about uh, all the people I went to high school with, and I would share it with basically two friends who would laugh hysterically, and it was fun for me to do. But here you go. I somehow turned all that into uh, a career, if you want to call this that. (laughs) All right, here's what's the connection. This is your first little puzzle on the top of the newsletter. What's the connection between these four films? The Breakup, Barber Shop, Adventures in Babysitting, and Backdraft. What do you think the connection is there? Here they are again The Breakup, Barber Shop, Adventures in Babysitting, and Backdraft. I'll give you a second. And the connection is that they all take place in Chicago. That's right. Those are all Chicago movies that all have B's in their names, actually, too. Break Up, Barbershop, Babysitting, Backdraft. But those all take place in the Sweet Home, Chicago. We have another puzzle here. It says, put the TV shows in order they were released. Okay, so here are the TV shows. We have Taxi, The Facts of Life, MASH, and Growing Pains which was the correct order for those four shows. I'll give it to you in a second. The answer is, all right, here we go. We got MASH, then we got Taxi, then we got The Facts of Life, and then we got Growing Pains. So that was the correct order there. And your last question to kind of close out right around the holiday season, what three actors have played Santa from this list? We have Paul Giamatti, Ed Asner, Leslie Nielsen, and Walter Matthau, which three actors have played Santa. So one of them has not. And the answers are Paul Giamatti. Yes, he was in the movie Fred Claus with Vince Vaughn. Ed Asner is Santa in the movie Elf. Leslie Nielsen is a Santa in a movie that escapes me, but I think there's two of them where he was Santa. And Walter Matthau was the one who was not. As far as I could tell, Walter Matthau never played Santa in anything. So those are just three little quick puzzles that I mail to listeners and uh, Patreon subscribers every month. There's other fun stuff on here. It says five forgotten holiday flicks to watch this month, uh, five fun podcast episode titles you might have missed, coolest Christmas gifts this year, and then a little happy holidays and be well uh, like letter from the editor kind of a thing for me. Then there's a picture. It says, which movie was this screenshot from? And I have a nice Christmas movie there for you. And then there is a poem at the bottom by Shel Silverstein. So it's just real simple. It's real basic and it's fun. But if you like that kind of thing, if you like getting newsletters, just join over on patreon.com slash trivia with buds. All right, guys, we are going to jump into today's episode. It's all about 2019 because we start this new decade first thing at midnight, and I can't wait just like you. We're going to do 30 questions on the year. Here we go. 
30 questions on 2019. Let's see how well you remember this year. The last of the decade. Question number one. What Oscar-winning song did Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga perform together at the Oscars on February 24th, 2019? Question number one. What Oscar-winning song did Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga perform together at the Oscars on February 24th, 2019? Question number two, who joined Instagram on October 15th, 2019 and racked up 15 million likes on her picture of herself and five former co-stars? Number two, what celebrity was that? Question number three, what show debuted on Fox in 2019 and features unknown singers battling it out in disguise? Number three, what show on Fox? Question number four, what former Full House actress was infiltrated in a college admissions bribery scam? Number four, what former Full House actress was involved in a college admissions bribery scam? Question number five, what actor is playing Dr. Robotnik in the 2019 announced Sonic the Hedgehog movie coming out in 2020? Number five, what actor is playing Dr. Robotnik? Question number six, who retired from the Today Show in April 2019 to focus on other projects? Number six, who retired from the Today Show? Question number seven, what was the first name of the royal baby born in May 2019? Number seven. Question number eight, what season number of Game of Thrones concluded the series in 2019? What season number was that? Question number nine, what country's women's team won the World Cup in July? What country's women's team won the World Cup in July? Question number 10, what song became the longest running number one on the Billboard Hot 100 this past year? Number 10, what song became the longest running number one? And number 11, this was a two point bonus question that I used to close out my round last week. And for two points, in September, what pop star and actress reprised a famous green dress of years past for a performance and what designer made that dress? What was the pop star and what was the designer that made the dress? All right, now we have some rapid fire questions. I have 19 of these ready for you to go. You're going to have to name the winner of these events or awards. So these will go a little bit quicker and we have 19 of them to round out our 30 questions on today's quiz. Here is your uh, first question of that batch. This would be number 12 on your list if you're numbering your page. We have the World Series. Who won the World Series in 2019? Number 13, who won the Super Bowl in 2019? Number 14, who won the NBA championship? What team was that? Number 14. Number 15, who won the Stanley Cup? Who won the Stanley Cup? Number 15. Number 16, the Men's NCAA Basketball Championship. Number 17, Men's College Football Championship. Number 18, the PGA Masters. Who won the PGA Masters? Number 19, the Oscar for Best Movie. Which movie won the Oscar for Best Film? Number 20, the Oscar for Best Animated Film. What movie won for Best Animated Film? Number 21, the Oscar for Best Actress. Who was that? Number 22, the Oscar for Best Actor. Number 22. Number 23, you guys know I can't forget wrestling. Who won the Royal Rumble 
men's match and who won the Royal Rumble women's match? Number 23, two-part question. Number 24, the Grammy for Album of the Year. What artist won the Grammy for Album of the Year? Number 25, the Grammy for Best New Artist. Number 25. Number 26, the Tony for Best Musical. The Tony for Best Musical. Number 27, the Emmy for Best TV Drama. Number 28, the Emmy for Best TV Comedy Slash Musical. Number 29, AMA's Artist of the Decade. Who would that be? And number 30, Time Magazine's Person of the Year, right on the cover. Those are all your questions for this 30-question packed quiz on 2019. We'll be right back in just a second to blow off some fireworks and see those answers. We're back with the answers to 2019 trivia. Let's see how you did. Question number one. What Oscar-winning song did Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga perform together at the Oscars on February 24th, 2019? The answer was one word, and that word is shallow. Shallow. Number two. Who joined Instagram on October 15, 2019 and racked up 15 million likes on her picture of herself and five former co-stars? I'm staring at a Lego set of this show right now. Friends and the crew and Jennifer Aniston, number two. Number three, what show debuted on Fox in 2019 and features unknown singers battling it out in disguise? That would be The Masked Singer, number three. Number four, what former Full House actress was infiltrated in a college admissions bribery scam? Lori Laughlin. number four, Lori Laughlin. Number five, what actor is playing Dr. Robotnik in Sonic the Hedgehog coming out later in 2020? That would be Jim Carrey, Master of Disguise. Number six, who retired from the Today Show in April 2019 to Focus on other projects. Kathy Lee Gifford. Kathy Lee. Number seven, what was the name of the royal baby born May 2019? His name is Archie. Love that name. Almost got a red cat one time and named it Archie. We went and got all the stuff, came back to the shelter. They're like, someone just got it. So we had to return all the cat stuff. Number eight, what season number of Game of Thrones concluded the series in 2019? Eight people did not like the ending. Number nine, what country's women's team won the World Cup in July? USA. 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 Number 10, what song became the longest number one on the Billboard Hot 100 this past year? One of the most successful songs of all time in the history of music, which is insane. Old Town Road. Old Town Road. And the bonus question on the regular questions. For two points in September, what pop star and actress reprised a famous green dress of years past for a performance? And what designer made that dress? That was J-Lo, Jennifer Lopez, and Versace for the designer. Going into the rapid-fire questions, we had number 12, the World Series winners were the Washington Nationals. Number 13, the Super Bowl champions were the New England Patriots. Go figure. They've never done that before, have they? Number 14, NBA championship went to the Toronto Raptors. I know that they, I don't think, had ever done that before. Number 15, Stanley Cup, St. Louis Blues were the winners. Number 16, men's NCAA basketball, the Virginia Cavaliers. Number 17, men's college football, Clemson Tigers. Clemson Tigers. Number 18, the PGA Masters. When in doubt, guess Tiger Woods. That's right, Tiger Woods. Number 19, the Oscar for Best Movie went to Green Book. Green Book. Number 20, Oscar for Best Animated Film, Into the Spider-Verse, which is on Netflix. I still have to watch it. I am going to try and watch it with Annabelle while she's on break. Number 21, Oscar for Best Actress went to Olivia Coleman. Olivia Coleman. Number 22, Best Actor Oscar, Rami Malek from Bohemian Rhapsody. Number 23, the Royal Rumble winners were Seth Rollins for the men's match and Becky Lynch for the women's match. Number 24, Grammy of uh, for the album of the year, Casey Musgraves. Casey Musgraves. Number 25, Grammy for Best New Artist, Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa. Number 26, Tony for Best Musical is Hadestown. Hadestown? Hadestown. I have never seen that in print before. I don't know what it's about, but now I'm going to look up the music from that musical. <laughs> Number 27, Emmy for Best TV Drama, The Americans. That's a show I always wanted to watch. I'm going to wa- definitely get into it at some point. Number 28, Emmy for Best TV Comedy Musical, Kaminsky Method. Watch the trailer on Netflix. Look pretty funny. Kaminsky Method. Number 29, AMA's Artist of the Decade was Taylor Swift. You could have guessed that, right? Taylor Swift, T-Swift. And number 30, Time Magazine's Person of the Year, Greta Thunberg, Greta Thunberg. 
That is today's quiz and the end of the year, the end of the decade, the end of an era. Thank you so much for playing along. This was the decade where I started a podcast about three years ago. So thanks for being on, thanks for being on board for that whole journey. Appreciate you guys. Question of the day brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs of San Dimas, California. What icon is in the center square of a Scrabble board? Tweet me your answer at Ryan Buds or email RyanBuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. Yesterday's question of the day answer was a slammer for the thing you throw at the pogs in the 90s. And your trivia team name of today is Spock Lesnar. Spock Lesnar. Funky Monkey Designs can be reached at fmdesignsinc.com. Click the link in the show notes. All right, guys, I want to say a special thank you to my friend Brian Foster, who provides the theme song for this show. You can find him on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com slash frosty, F-R-A-W-S-T-Y. His theme song's been listened to over half a million times, thanks to downloads like yours. And check out Frosty and his other great electronic music. He's a great DJ around the L.A. area. Uh, Another person that provides music for the show which is royalty-free music. It's licensed under Creative Commons, and that is Kevin McLeod, who I support on Patreon, and you should too. We use a lot of his music as bed music, so it's not completely silent when I give you a second to answer the questions. So thank you, Kevin McLeod. You can find me at TriviaWithBuds.com anytime, Facebook.com slash TriviaWithBuds, Twitter.com slash RyanBuds, and Instagram.com slash Ryan Buds. Book a party or corporate event or a fundraiser anytime by emailing RyanBuds at gmail.com or use the contact form on trivia with buds.com slash contact. And as always, you can support the show at patreon.com slash trivia with buds. Send me your questions. I'll read them. I'll answer them on the show. Also send me any topics you'd like me to cover in the future in 2020. Always looking for content and always need your help. Special thanks to all my big helpers and friends on Patreon, including Chris Adams, Christopher Callahan, Veronica Baker, Manny Majerian, Greg Bristow, Brenda Martinez, Alex DeSmet, Joe Finney, Manny Cortez, Sarah McEvitz, Simon Time, Mo Martinez, Randy Tatum, Joan Bryce, Katie Christofferson, Denise Leonard, Jen Wojnar, Sarah Guest, Jess Whitener, Kyle Bonin, Dan Papalo, Robert Casey, Ian Schultze, Casey O'Connor, Marissa Cuthbertson, Kyle Almer, Taryn Napolitano, Matthew Frost, Katie Smith, Brian Salyer, Megan Acuna, Anna Evans, Jim Fields, Lauren Ward, Greg Hines, Wreck My Podcast, and Jordan Zeilinger, Douglas French, Erica Cooper, Mark Haas, Sarah Haas, Caitlin Reek, Casey Becker, Paul McLaughlin, Amy Jeppesen, Melissa Chesser, Sean De La Cruz, Fiona Neville, Cody Welter, Paul Doranilla, Catherine Mott, Luke McKay, Ricky Carney, Kyle Hendrickson, Willie Powell, Mike Edwards, Joe Jermalowitz, Joey Mucha, Mona Bray, and Russ Friedewald. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Have a great New Year's Eve and have a great start to 2020. Thanks for listening to Trivia with Buds. Cheers.